Hi lovelies, welcome back to Christina Maria Yoga. I'm Christina and today we are doing a flow for upper back pain. If you're someone who sits at a desk for majority of the day or maybe you're doing a lot of traveling, driving in a car, this is definitely the flow for you. Personally, sitting in lectures all day and just holding stress, I tend to carry it in my upper back, which is why I really needed this flow, and I hope you guys get as much benefit out of it as I did. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. Your support means so much, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another flow with me. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. We will be using a bolster for this flow, but don't worry if you don't have one, feel free to just use a pillow. So with knees bent up, soles of the feet planting down and lying on our back, press into the feet as we lift the hips up and slide the bolster underneath the hips. Resting right under that low back area and the top of the glutes. Relax all the way down onto the bolster and then take hands right onto the belly. Just close the eyes here. Begin to breathe, big inhales and exhales. A lot of the weight is pressing down into that upper back, but relax shoulders, no tension or holding. Keep breathing in through the nose, belly rises with the inhale and falls with the exhale. Just beginning to slow down here, grounding down into the practice that we're about to begin. Maybe noticing if there's any tension or holding anywhere specifically. One more deep breath. And then inhale drawing the right knee in towards the chest and interlacing fingers on the back of the leg. So on the back of the thigh, right where the hamstrings are. Foot is relaxed, just drawing the knee in. Slowly begin to press the sole of the foot up towards the sky, really pressing through the heel of the foot as we stretch out the back of the right leg. Breathe into the stretch. And then releasing the knee back down, this time taking it in towards the armpit as so we find half happy baby. Right hand to the outside of the right foot, sole of the foot still pressing up towards the sky. Slowly release the foot, allow it to go back down onto the mat. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So reset and inhale, drawing left knee in, interlacing fingers around the back of that left hamstring. Foot is once again relaxed. And then sending the sole of the foot up towards the sky, pressing through the left heel as we stretch out the back of the leg. Slowly drawing the knee back down as we take the left hand to the outside of the left foot. Sole of the foot still pressing up as knee draws in towards the armpit. Half happy baby. Slowly release the left leg back down onto the mat. Lift the hips by pressing into the feet and remove the bolster. Just taking it to the side. And taking hands back to the belly, drop both knees down to the right and look to the left. Windshield wiper this motion so knees go to the left and we look to the right. Continuing to switch sides at a nice even pace. Head always going the opposite way that knees are going. And 
And slowly coming back up through center, draw knees into the chest, this time wrapping hands around the shins and rock side to side. Rolling over onto one side and gently pressing yourself up into a seated posture. If cross-legged feels good, coming into that. Sitting up nice and tall, straight spine, really relax shoulders back and down. Imagine there's a string drawing you up through the crown of the head, lengthening the spine here. Take hands directly in front of the chest, reaching forward as palms touch. And then inhale, draw arms open as we lift the chin towards the sky. And exhale, hands come together in front of the body as we round up our back. So we inhale to open and exhale to round. Focus on lifting the chin, opening the heart and chest. And then exhale, really finding space between the shoulder blades on the back of the body. Focus on the contraction and expansion of the upper back muscles here. The shoulder blades coming together with each inhale and spreading apart on each exhale. Become aware of the sensations in the body, how this feels for you. And then slowly come back to center. Plant right hand down into the mat as we take the left arm up and over, side body stretch, fingers spread wide, and then exhale, left fingertips come down to the mat, taking right arm up and over. Inhale, come back through center, and coming over into a tabletop position. Inhale, drop the belly as we lift the head, finding cow pose. Exhale, draw the belly in towards the spine, round the upper back, cat pose. Inhale, head lifts, belly drops. Exhale, belly draws in, head drops. Keep moving with your own breath here. Sink the movement to the breath. Maybe going a little slower than your body would like to. Lengthening the breath. Finding the space in the back. And then slowly coming back to center, begin to walk hands forward, hips stay nice and high over top of the knees. And with upper arms and forearms lifted, release the forehead down in between the arms to release down onto the mat. Really focus on breathing into puppy pose. And then slowly begin to lift the head, keeping the right arm extended straight. Bend the left arm so you can slide it underneath the body towards the right, dropping the shoulder and head down onto the mat. And really roll open so you're opening up through the right side body here. Keep pressing hips back while keeping them high. And then slowly slide left arm out. Keep it extended as you bend your right arm, sliding it underneath towards the left. Keep rolling the body back so we're opening up through that left side of the chest. Hips are high. Breathe here. Slowly come back to center. And then walk yourself back to tabletop with wrists underneath shoulders. We're going to find Sufi circles taking hips down towards the right, around the back, and up the left. But I want you to focus on moving and finding those cat-cow shapes while circling. So as you go around the back, really rounding upper back. And as you come forward, finding that dip in the back, that cow variation. So there's no wrong way to do this movement. We're just trying to find some fluidity in the spine. Get the muscles to loosen up. 
and then begin to circle the other direction. So the same movement, but this time going up the right side and down the left. bit of a funny looking one but I promise you it feels good. And then slowly bringing the big toes to touch, bringing knees together as we drop the hips back on the heels and arms to relax down by the sides, hands going towards the feet as we find rock pose, a big rounding of the spine here. creating space between the vertebrae and the upper back, just to ease some tension, create some extension in the body. Slowly pulling yourself back up, finding that tabletop position, and then swinging legs around to come to seated, legs extended out in front of us. So feet are flexed, quads are engaged, draw up through the core as we rise, arms up beside the ears, lengthening, and then exhale, folding forward just a little bit. Inhale, rise back up, and exhale, folding a little further. Inhale to lift up, and exhale to fold, really focusing on creating length in the spine. Inhale up. Exhale, fold even further. Inhale, reach up. And then slowly come into cross-legged. We'll bring arms up beside the ears once again. And then exhale, fold forward. Walk the hands as far forward as you can. And then over towards the right. So walking fingertips towards the right. Walking them back through center and over towards the left. And then slowly coming back through center, leaning forward as we come to child's pose, knees out nice and wide, big toes touching, hips back on the heels. We'll do a similar motion with the hands. So begin to walk the hands over towards the right. Slowly come back through center and taking the hands all the way over to the left. Inhale, come back through center. Taking a few deep breaths here. Slowly pulling yourself back up, sitting the hips back on the heels. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Pull the hands down towards the mat. Open up through the chest, shoulder blades drawing together. And then exhale, release. Interlace the hands once more. Draw the hands down, chin goes up to the sky. Draw the shoulder blades together and then release. Keeping the hands behind the back, take reverse prayer, maybe hands stay facing downwards. Or if you can, flipping the grip so you're in prayer hands, but they're behind the back. So hands start down, fingertips facing down. And if that feels good, drawing hands inwards and up to find full reverse prayer. This allows us to have a big opening of the heart, shoulder blades drawing together. It allows us to feel the activation in the upper back, noticing if there's any points of tension there, and then releasing and shaking it out. Draw the right arm up to the sky, and then slowly bend the elbow so that the palm of the right hand is falling back behind the neck, touching the upper back and then bending up at the left elbow, reaching left hand to interlace with right hand. So cow face arms here. If you can't reach, feel free to use a strap. And then release arms down. Inhale, rise left arm up, bending back so the left palm faces the upper back, and then bending up at right elbow to interlace fingers here. 
If you can't reach, just use a strap and hold on to that, getting the hands as close together as possible. Really open up through the heart here, so don't let the chin fall towards the chest. Lift the heart and smile. Slowly, slowly begin to release the hands and shift onto the glutes so we can lower down into a reclined position. We'll extend left leg long on the mat as we draw right knee in towards the chest using the left hand to draw the right knee towards the left finding a twist here right arm will go out at shoulder height and we can look towards those right fingertips slowly come back through center releasing right leg down straight and hugging left knee into the chest Using right hand to take the knee across the body towards the right. Left arm will go out at shoulder height and gaze goes towards those left fingertips. Slowly drop back through center. Allow the left leg to go out straight and relaxing arms down by the sides. Feel free to grab your bolster or pillow here and just placing it under the upper back area. So right at that bra strap area, maybe a slightly lower depending on how long your torso is. And then relaxing arms out straight at shoulder height. You can also do Shavasana, but if you'd like a little bit more of a release for the upper back, feel free to try this restorative pose. In either position, allowing eyes to close, shoulders to relax, and feet to fall open. Refocusing yourself with the breath in the body and trying to stay present for the remainder of your practice. Feel free to stay in this posture for as long as you like. No need to rush out. Really absorb the work you did. Thank yourself for taking the time to do something for you. It's so important and we often neglect it and don't set aside enough time for ourselves. So thank you. Thank yourself. Namaste. Thanks so much for doing that flow with me, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. And don't forget to click that big red button subscribe so you don't miss another flow with me. I post new videos every Sunday, so be sure to come back and check me out. If you'd like to flow with me on the daily, check out my Facebook page and Instagram. They're linked in the description box down below. You can also click around to do some of my previous videos if you haven't done so already. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and your upper backs feel nice and relaxed. Lots of love, guys.